Hey guys, um, so I have kind of a unique review for y'all today, something that I picked up and thought was really cool. Um, sorry if my voice sounds different, I actually had sinus surgery last week, um, and I have been told I sound different. I have no idea if it's permanent or not. I don't think so, I think it's just because of everything. It's still not quite healed up, but, um, so that might go away. But anyways, so I found this really cool, um, uh, it's a Galoob Micro Machines playset, um, it's a Yoda head, um, back from the late 90s, and they did several versions of these. I have a C-3PO one, however, it is not in this line. Um, I did a review of, of him quite a while ago, you can probably search for my channel, um, but I picked up another one. I don't see these too often, but it was at a vintage shop, and I am a sucker for little things, and Micro Machines are really cool, so, um, I decided to go ahead and get it, because it was an okay price. Not the best, but, you know, it was really cool and I wanted it. So we have some really cool art on this box here. And then of course that familiar 90s like little stripey things. Their packaging is very iconic in that way. Um, so just uh, scenes on what the playset will do. And then we have all the other playsets in the line and then just kind of a um, showing you what it all includes. This looks like it would be very fun if I was a kid in the store when this came out. I was actually just a baby. Like a baby baby. Because um, I was born in 95, this came out in 97. Um, but if I was old enough to appreciate Star Wars, I would have loved this. Um, probably like I love Legos. Anyways, and so here we have the set. And we get a very detailed Yoda and some very detailed micro figures. And so we will start with those. And then I'll open up the play set and stick these guys in and show you all the really cool features inside. Uh, because there are several and it's really cool. So here we have first the... X-Wing, which um, is iconically covered in, like, uh, crap. Green stuff. So, no, it's covered in, like, moss and whatnot from having crashed kind of into that pond um, from the movies. But very detailed micro machines. As you can tell, I mean, you can see the color differences on here. It's awesome. It's really good. There's a peg in the bottom because he does have a place to put the ship. It is not to scale with the little figures. That would be ridiculous. But it's still very cool. And then we have a little training loop Skywalker with his tank top, and he's got his hand up because later he actually ends up doing his little handstand, um, which is a feature that I'll show you. It's very cool. Um, and then we have a Vin Kenobi, which is the spirit, and I think it's really neat that they have made him translucent, as you can tell, um, but he's very detailed as well. So we have a spirit Obi-Wan. We have a Darth Vader, who actually has some nice silver painting on him. He's really cool. You can see the folds of his cloak there. And you have a little Luke Skywalker, and his knees are bent real forward. I don't know what kind of stance Yoda taught him there, but that does not look very practical. Anyways, so there's him. And probably my favorite out of the figures you get is this little R2. Oops, I'm sorry, I had him turned around. So there, there he is, and he's got quite a lot of detail. He's also covered in moss, which is just absolutely, I mean, I would love it. He's so cute. Um, I absolutely love the amount of figures that you get with this place. You get quite a few. Um... And then you get a little Yoda with his arms out. He looks like, kind of like a zombie. I'm not quite sure what that little cutout is for. I haven't found a place where it actually uh, fits into something. But um, I have another Micro Machines Yoda as well. It is in a different stance, though, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and go on to the play set, and I'll stick the figures in in just a moment. Um, so the head opens right here from this divot, as well as the shoulder, which I'll go ahead and do first. And that actually holds the X-Wing. And there is a path... Well, let me get this in first. You gotta put it in an angle. Yeah, there's a path. Oh, I knocked him over. There's a path that leads up into the rest of the playset, which I'll show you now. So there we are. Let's move these guys to the side. So there we are. There's that hallway that's gonna lead down to the um, X wing. Let me see. Is that better? That better? That's better. Okay. So. If you'll give me just a second, let me set up these um, figures here, and then I'll go through and explain what they all do. And I can't imagine how many little kids ate these figures on accident, or on purpose, or like pets and whatnot. Because some kids, kids sometimes like to chew on things, and these are really little. I know I did when I was little. <laughs> just a thought. Um, and Ben Kenobi doesn't actually have a place. I just set them up according to the box, and so he's just going to kind of stand in the hallway and watch the duel. He's guiding Luke mentally. Okay, so here we are, and uh, so we'll start up here. The box, I mean, there's nothing really for Yoda and R2-D2 to do except watch. 
Um, and the box has them put on these two little shelves here, which there's not any other place really to put them. Um, we do get this swinging vine, um, which has a clip to hold Luke, which is how I have him hooked in and down at the bottom, and he's supposed to swing back and forth. I'm not sure how he gets up there, but it is there. Um, down here we actually have Luke, and he is hooked to the same type of hook, only it's down here. There's also another leveler. Um, and then you have some like little pieces that they've carried up from the X-Wing, um, and then you'll recognize the scene where he is handstanding and making those boxes float. So, um, as you can tell, when you pull the lever, it flips Luke over and it makes those little things levitate, which is kind of cool. It's very cute, I think. So you've got that up there. Um, the scene in the background is just paper that they have, like, glued onto the back. And then down here, um, which is a little bit more difficult to see, you have this pit. This is where Luke goes and faces Darth Vader in the forest. And you just move Yoda's ears and you can actually make them duel. And I actually really like this setup because they can actually make contact with each other. And so you can move them quite a bit. Um, so you can actually, you know, if you were a kid, you could have a lot of fun with this, I think. Anyways, and so that's that pretty much. Um, just a few little features, but definitely really cool. Um, I can see... Um, I see an appeal in this place that I'm not sure everybody does. Maybe they'd still be mi making micro machines um, if it was more popular, but I definitely think this is cool. Um, pieces are itty bitty though. I bet I like itty bitty, but you can lose them real fast. Um, but anyways, I just kind of wanted to show something different. Um, I haven't picked up a figure in a while. Um, I know the new wave hit, and I actually have been avoiding my toy stores just because I've been saving up and having to spend so much money on the move um, that it's making me antsy to actually you know, not have anything yet, but I did, I did get this. I broke down and got this because I thought it was cool. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more. There will be more. I promise I'm not going away. I'm just hitting one of those slow moments. So anyways, thank you guys as always.